Hey, sis, you okay? You understand the information that's being brought out? We're trying to uplift and teach our people who we are according to the Bible and why it matters. Imagery is a very powerful thing. That's right. We imagery, so much imagery that we see our people getting shot down in the streets and we even think, okay, well, you know, could have been me. Or it wasn't me, excuse me, right? Well, we have to understand that these things, the imagery that we've been shown about who Jesus Christ is, is incorrect. We've been showed a false imposter. We have not been showed the truth of who Christ is. The, when the world sees Christ, they are going to tremble in their feet. You understand? So the soldiers brought out that Christ looks just like you, right? We understand that Christ is the black man according to the Bible. Say it again, I can't hear you. Say it again. You gonna tell the world? All oh, praise, that's what we're trying to do. We waking up our people in every city, the information. Guess what this is doing, read that. John chapter eight and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. It says that you shall know the truth, come on. And the truth shall make you this is the truth, sis, you paying attention? This is the truth that's gonna make our people free. This is the truth that make our people free. Cause we've been in bondage, physical bondage and spiritual bondage. You understand? We've been in physical chains. This is our history. This is how we read it. We know it's in the Bible. Spiritual bondage, we're following Christianity, Islam. We're following all these false religions. We're not following the Bible. You understand? Read that again. Verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. This is what's making you free, our, what's going to set our mind free, right? So this is how we understand that we have to walk a different way. We have to keep the commandments, right? Do you understand that? What are some commandments? What you actually... Okay. We're not supposed to kill, we're supposed to keep the Sabbath, right? But you even covered yourself up, right? You covered yourself up. You know what I want? Proverbs. Uh, you shall know a harlot by her clothes by time. Uh, Sirach. Give me that Sirach too. So what you did was you like, man, hold on. I see some men. They're reading the Bible. I need to cover myself up, correct? Did you know you're supposed to hold yourself to that standard the entire time? The, the entire time. You know that, right? It's not just head to toe, sis. So it's not, it's fine. You can show your hair, sis. You can show your hair. You can wear some makeup. But our women do not need to uh, honor that thing above their natural beauty. Ecclesiasticus chapter 19 and verse 29. A man may be known by his look. By his looks, read. And one that have understanding by his countenance. When thou meetest him, a man's attire. A man or a sister's attire, their clothing, read. And excessive laughter. The way, the way they laugh, the way they talk. And gait, show what he is. And, and the way they move, show what they are. So if you as a sister, you walk around showing your cleavage, right? Showing off all curves. What is that, what is that insinuating to the other men? What is that letting them, leading them on to believe? That you're what? That, you are, that you're a whore, right? But you know you're better than that. You know you're better than that. So what, as our women, what are we supposed to be doing? We're supposed to be covering ourselves. Modest apparel. Give me that first Timothy, right? We're supposed to be wearing modest apparel, right? We're trying to wake up our people. Some men are wearing dresses. Men need to put on pants. Our women are wearing pants. They need to be wearing dresses. Not no short mini skin tight shirt, uh, skirts. Dresses that cover your curves. Have you ever heard of that? We're going to show you today. This, this, is the, this is the truth that's going to make you free. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also. That women adorn themselves. You're a, you're a woman, right? Read. In modest apparel. Sis, your body is a sacred thing. It's a pure thing. Cover it. Put it in modest apparel. Not not a uh, mesh showing off your cleavage, right? You're better than that. Our people, we are royalty on this earth, but we're not walking like it. You understand? So you got to learn today that hey, I got to hold myself to a higher esteem. I got to think of myself more highly than how... TV or media or Megan the Stallions or Cardi B's want to per perpetuate and uh, portray our people and our women, right? We need to be better than that, sis. And I see tears coming to your eyes like, man, this is the tears of repentance. This is an understanding that you have to understand that, man, okay, God requires more of me. He, I am his daughter. I'm his and his alone. I have to walk better than this. I have to do better than this, right?
Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.